Welcome back guys to another Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition video here on my channel and today we are gonna see a ranked matchup between Lapsis Otilas 12 and Robrod. Lapsis Otilas 12 is currently on rank 23 and his opponent Robrod is currently on rank 20. So two of the absolute elite on the ladder here um, facing each other in this matchup. And this game is on the map Great Plains where you have six native settlements, um, three Cheyenne settlements, and then three Comanche settlements. And of course, you have the trading line who runs on the side of the map. And now we see uh, Lapsutilas. He's playing the Brits. And Robot here in the south in the color red. He is playing um, Spain. So... Robot starting off with the house and herding in his bison. Same on the other side, but uh, he's already starting to build his minor houses to get the free villagers here. And at the same time, these explorers are getting are getting some treasures. This uh, explorer is called Arthur Drake. And his opponent is Brot von der Höhe. Uh, yeah, sounds German. Like his name. Uh, like his name, Robot. And he is trying to get a treasure where he gets 30% hit points for his explorer. Here, the, all the villagers are on food from uh, both players. And Robot trying to dodge here the uh, Coyote. And now we see the Spanish player starting off with three villagers. And he has the trading post card in his deck, the advanced trading post card, which increases, increases the hit points by 20% and also the cost or the cost is reduced by 40% and then he has um, a lot of H3 cards so I guess he is probably going for a fast fortress strategy that uh, many Spanish players are pulling off at the moment and uh, of course here the two falconets in H3 I think that's what he wants and on the other side um, the British player also sending in three wheels and um, he has a lot of wood and coin shipments then he has the musketeer grenadier damage upgrade which increases all damage by 15 percent also the musketeer hit points upgrade which increases the hit points by 15 percent and then of course he has uh, the yeoman Upgrade for his longbowman, which increases the range by four. And also he has uh, the two falconets in his deck here. Preparado. And Robot getting another treasure. 30 coin treasure. And here at Lapsis Otilas base, all the villagers are very nicely around the town center and he aged uh, clicked up and he's going up with the governor Ready. and now he switched most of his villagers to wood and then he's also sending one over here to um, herd in the pronghorns robot is now also clicking up and he's going up with the governor as well and here we see a little fight over this uh, treasure here this 85 wood treasure and um, the British player gets it but uh, he will probably go down against the uh, other explorer with his uh, dog here But maybe he's able to kill 
dog first, so he gets at least a little bit of XP. Now he's running away. And there it goes. Dog is down. But uh, the Spanish player already produced a new one. So the dog is definitely going to chase him down. If he can. Here on the base, we see also that uh, Robot switched a lot of his villagers to wood. And now back to uh, wood. He gathered around 200 um, wood. And the Spanish explorer is still trying to catch up here, I think, or trying to sneak behind him and maybe steal him, uh, steal a treasure from him. And Lapsisotilas going for the hunting dogs in transition here. And he got the outpost and the 200 coin from the governor um, Ajab. Ready. And he's moving it straight forward. Ah, he's building up a, a forward base here in the middle of the map. Um, so with his outpost and he's also um, building up a barrack here with two villagers. And now sending in 700 wood. Let's check out Robrod. He also got the outpost wagon with the 200 gold and he is um, putting it down into his bay or close to his base, close to his town center and he's sending in the 700 coin so uh, he's probably going for the fast fortress now and he's trying to get the micro right for it because he got 200 from the uh, governor and then he will get 700 on top and then he already gathered a hundred so he just has to get his food up and then he's able to age up and he already um, put also the wood behind it here Lapsis Attila is now going for the placer mines upgrade which increases the gather rate from coin Here we see that Robot just discovered this forward base here. And now we see a batch of five musketeers already walking towards the base of Robot. And Robot is doing a great job with microing the resources here so I guess after this villager he will go up to the next age on the other side Lapsis Otilas now sending in five wills after his 700 wood shipment and now we see a trading post being built by Robot. And he's. And. Um, Robot is going up in a second, I assume. His uh, micro is quite perfect here. And he's going up with the scout. And now he switched a few villagers to coin. And his 700 wood shipment just arrived. Here we see that uh, Lapsiotilas is attacking um, Robot with uh, some musketeers and also here walking forward and scouting the map for any um, three villagers that he can kill. Now the barrack is being built for Robot. Now the musketeers walk in from the behind, uh, from behind the base, 
And they are probably gonna get this settler. There she goes. He just has to hold on for a little bit because he's already aging. Another batch of five musketeers come in. They try, they try and come from the sides to avoid this outpost here. That they don't get any unnecessary damage. And now we see that a robot has also musketeers in queue. He's producing four, maybe a fifth one. But now, Absisotilas is backing up for the moment. He probably knows that uh, his opponent is um, aging. And he can't do much with his uh, 12 um, musketeers. Let's see what Absisotilas is doing. He's sending in. 600 wood I think he wants to build more manor houses he already has a few of them six at the moment here's the seventh one and uh, more musketeers come out for lapsis otilas and robot on the other side also queuing up more musketeers but he will be in age three soon. Just in a second, I guess. And he got the four hussars from his age up from the scout. And now he just um, clicked on the two falconets and also the five lancers. So he's going for an age three attack here now. But he has to take uh, um, care because his opponent, Lapsis Otilas, already has a lot of musketeers. Yes. 21, to be precise. Right. And his trading post really helps um, Robo to get his shipments in so that he can get the two falconets and also the five lancers by the time now. Then Lapsis Otilas is just producing more musketeers. If we look on the scores, um, Lapsis Otilas is currently um, 2k score ahead. Ready. But uh, here are the Falconets, the... which are very frightening for Lapsis Otilas. For his musketeers. And now we have 31 musketeers for Lapsis Otilas. And the British player now is shipping in the six musketeers. Ready. The outpost just went down, and he's now also queuing up um, hussars from his bear uh, from his stable. On the other side, Robot will now receive his five lancer shipment, and he's moving forward now. And Lapsis Otilas is waiting for his hussars i guess and his other six musketeers before he tries to defend it and he knows that his opponent robot has two falconets here and uh he has to take care about them and now satira's also getting the militia men out and now he's going in They are in stagger mode here. But I see a lot of 
red tens here, red numbers. So Lapsatias is losing a lot of villagers and he managed to get one uh, Falconite out, now the second one. But he lost a lot of units and here these Lancers are so strong against these um, Musketeers. And they really demolish the army here. Very strong play from Robot here. But it was also difficult to go onto these uh, Falcon Nets and don't lose too many Musketeers. And he's also losing, will lose this one last Musketeer. And now another batch of four Lancers now on the map. And now you see it also on the score. Um, now Robot is 2k score ahead, so he just turned it around. Not a batch of five Musketeers, but they will be easily picked up by the Lancers. Now another batch of five Hussars coming out. But the Musketeers do a good job here. He has also his dogs out, which also have almost 200 HP, so the more units that uh, Lapsutilas has to handle. And he will also lose this Hussars, it seems. Another batch of five Musketeers coming out. But now it looks like Club Sotilas is able to to hold off this push here. Come on, demand. It's very even here. But also the dogs doing a good job here. Dealing damage to these musketeers. And now the last musketeer went down. Another batch of five musketeers come out for Robot. And Lapsis Attilas is now sending a few villagers over here to get some more food from these bison. And Robot tries to keep up the pressure on Lapsis Attilas. Because you all know that Brits is a very boomy sieve. And if you let them too much space too much time they will get unstoppable so robot doing a good job here hunting down lapsis otilas and here in the back um he's building up another barrack and now lapsis otilas only has one hussar left here And Robot is searching for some targets here. Another batch of five musketeers for Lapsotilas. And the Rodeleros are chasing the musketeers down. I like how they run here with the words up in the sky Ready. now five hussars come out for robot good reinforcements and here a batch of five musketeers is walking around the town from lapsis otilas and the british player now in a very difficult spot here um, it's being surrounded by enemy units and here we see uh, five hussars going towards these um, settlers and I think they won't be able to run away that easily or get into safety somewhere. There is no outpost, there is no town center close. Now he has five musketeers which uh, yeah, holds, holds him off for the moment and... Uh, 
Luckily for him. Or lucky for him. Your last villager got saved. The last moment. But Lapsotilas definitely has to take care here about his villagers. They are very open for attacks. And now we see that Robot got his veteran upgrade. And Lapsotilas is not on the way um, to the next age at all. And now we see that um, Robot is doing better trades with his veteran musketeers. And we also see it on the score. Now we have over 3000 score lead for Robot. The musketeers get killed here easily. Currently an army of 20 units with the dog. And Lapsis Otilas is calling his his musketeers from his villagers towards his town center. But uh, he's leaving his villagers exposed with that. But I don't know if he is seeing them. I think... Lapsotiles doesn't see that the Hussars are moving towards his villagers. Now he does. But it will be too late for most of the villagers, I think. And Robot is walking straight in front of the um, villagers. Now the first villager goes down. Second one is down, but now the musketeers arrive. But there will be almost a cleanup here for these villagers. Now Robot is trying to save his last three remaining hussars. And now Robot is right-clicking the town center, I think. Or he will. Oh, he's calling his uh, Rodaleros and Musketeers to come. And now we see Lapsotilas resigned. And um, that's the end of the game. And uh, interesting, you see the fast fortress strategy from Spain is uh, still very good. You just have to hold on to the H2 pressure or yeah, stay strong during the transition. But uh, Robot did a very good job and then also um, overwhelming his opponent with the, with the good trade here in the middle of the map with the two Falconets, making good use of them. And now, yeah, finish him, finishing him up with uh, the Rodaleros and Hussars and the Musketeers. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.